It could be a precedent-setting case, changing the way police deal with the ongoing fentanyl crisis. Today, a trial began for the first person ever charged by Edmonton police with manslaughter connected to a fentanyl overdose. Vinesh Pratap reports. Simon Kalich was 33 years old when he died. A guy, Very elderly guy, I missed him. For his parents, it's all still too much. The last day we didn't know. Court heard that in January 2016, Kalich spent a weekend in rehabilitation. Three days later, his body was found in an apartment hallway. On day one of trial, a retired police detective on the stand suggested Kalich was dragged out from an apartment connected to the accused. 28-year-old Jordan Yarmy. By the end of my addiction, I was under 100 pounds. Last October, for the first time, Yarmy spoke publicly since he was charged. He specifically did not talk about the case, but said fentanyl took over his life. I've seen people get hurt. I've lost friends. It's unknown if Yarmy will take the stand. His lawyer, in cross-examining Kalich's mother, offered a hint as a possible defense asking if the victim was suicidal or depressed, and suggesting that Simon Kalich owed money at the time of his death. He has lots, had uh, lots of friends, and very, everybody liked him. Kalich's parents and many others are paying close attention to this trial, wondering if the Crown will be able to prove that Simon's death is manslaughter. It's hard to say. Hard to say. Very hard to say. If anything, the trial puts the spotlight on fentanyl use, how loved ones are left behind to cope, the Kaliches hope people realize the tragic consequences. Especially very young, because they don't understand. Could be the, the worst thing. Vinesh Pratak. U.S. Customs announcing its biggest ever fentanyl bust. Agents intercepted more than 250 pounds of the deadly opioid in Arizona. The drugs were seized from a tractor trailer carrying cucumbers from Mexico after it was stopped for inspection at the border. The drugs have a street value of three and a half million dollars U.S. Another million dollars in methamphetamine was also found hidden in the truck's false bottom. They have made a significant dent in Calgary's illegal fentanyl industry after a bust in the southeast. A drug lab was found in a garage in Forest Lawn, and now four people are charged. But as Jordan Canigan reports, officers admit there is still a lot of work to do in our city. Police say a drug lab in a garage in this forest lawn back alley was able to make thousands of fentanyl pills every day, contributing to a deadly problem on Calgary streets. Plain and simple, this is about organized crime making money. And in doing so, they're playing with the lives of our vulnerable, addicted population. Officers were tipped off by a neighbor in November and raided the lab and three other properties in January. $75,000 worth of drugs were found, including 902 fentanyl pills and 178 grams of fentanyl powder. It is a significant seizure and a significant dent because from going forward from this time, we're not seeing whether or not they're, you know, they're running their pill press you know, five, six hours a day or seven days a week. Even a small amount of the drug can be deadly. The most recent stats show 648 people have died of a fentanyl overdose in Calgary since 2016. Police say illegal labs are a big part of the problem. What we have is fentanyl that's being manufactured in a dirty, decrepit garage. There's no quality control. Uh, there's no health and no safety standards in place when this was being, uh, when the fentanyl was being uh, manufactured. Four people are facing charges. Police say all of them are known to them and have faced similar charges before. Organized crime, unfortunately, is a lifestyle and it's hard to get people to distance themselves from that lifestyle. All four are scheduled to be in court this week. Jordan Canigan, CTV News, Calgary. Police urge anyone who suspects a possible drug lab in their community to contact investigators. Markets rallied. Police have shut down a suspected fentanyl lab in southeast Calgary. Investigators say thousands of fentanyl pills are being made in a garage in Forest Lawn. Police were tipped off by a neighbor in November and raided the garage and three other properties this month. $75,000 worth of fentanyl powder and pills were seized. Plain and simple, this is about organized crime making money. And in doing so, they're playing with the lives of our vulnerable, addicted population. Four people face charges in the drug bust. The latest stats show 648 people have died of a fentanyl overdose in Calgary since 2016. A fun